Welcome to the Association 100 podcast. The A100 podcast is an extension of our Association 100 bi-monthly newsletter that focuses on best practices, top trends, helpful ideas, and smart strategies and tactics that work in the world of associations. The podcast will feature meaningful conversations with association professionals across the country, taking a deeper dive into trending topics, offering insights that both inform and inspire. Welcome back to another episode of the A100 Podcast. I'm your host, Colleen Gallagher, and today's episode is part two of our special three-part series on using AI and PR. You're stuck with just me again, as this will be another solo cast. I'm going to keep this one quick because I think this is a really important topic and I want you to be able to come back and listen to just this piece when you might need it. So in today's solo cast, I'm going to dive into the power of AI to really transform your pitching efforts. And that includes both creating the press list and writing the pitch itself and customizing that pitch. So these topics are part of the five areas we cover in our soon to be released AI ebook, five ways to use AI in your association's PR efforts. If you want an early copy, just shoot me an email at cgallagher at onwardupward.com. I'll stick that in the show notes too. Otherwise, you can just keep an eye on our website. We'll have it up on our resources page really soon. Let's get started by talking about how AI can help you build a really targeted press list, and in particular, how ChatGPT can help. There's so many AI tools out there, so I'm going to focus again this week on ChatGPT because that's where I'm spending the most time and I'm trying to get really specialized in that before I move on and start learning the other tools as well. So when you're using ChatGPT, the specificity of your prompts is absolutely crucial. Here's a key tip. Always add into your prompt that AI should not fill in information if it's unsure. A good example of this, I asked ChatGPT for some reporter contacts for a list I was building and it amusingly told me John Doe at the Wall Street Journal. So that was good for a laugh, but also a very good reminder to set some clear boundaries there. And I did ask it. I said, did you make this up? And it said, yes, here's another target. And it gave me an actual target I could focus on. But if I had just added that disclaimer into my initial prompt, I wouldn't have gotten there in the first place. So how do we use AI to create an effective press list? Because we all know how many hours it can take to <laughs> build press lists, searching reporter by reporter. Otherwise, here are some prompts that, that you can use that I think work really well. So thinking about targeting journalists, ask it, can you provide a list of journalists who cover, insert your specific topic for insert the specific type of media outlets? So is that top tier national newspapers? Is that trade pubs? Whatever you're looking for, put that right into your prompt and see what it comes back with. You can ask it for contact information. So ask, can you find verified contact information for journalists who have recently covered fill-in related topic? Media preferences is another piece you can look at. And the prompt there is, what are the preferred contact methods for journalists covering, identify your specific beat? So fill that piece in there at the end. Past coverage analysis. That's something that normally takes forever. What you could do is say, analyze recent articles by insert journalist name and summarize their key interests and topics. There's a huge time saver there. And then a media outlet overview. Ask it to provide an overview of top media outlets that frequently cover enter your specific industry or topic and their key journalists. These are some great prompts that help ensure your press list is not only accurate, but also highly relevant to your pitch. One of the things I found really useful is asking ChatGPT to provide me said list in an Excel tablet and I tell it what columns I want it to have. So I want the name of the outlet, the name of the journalist, their job title, their email address, maybe the most recent article or two that they've written. It will spit it out in the way that you ask for it. It's not, okay, great, now I'm done. I, I definitely do go back and I double check them all. So we use Muckrack. So I've got Muckrack open and I'm quickly typing in the reporters it suggests to make sure it looks like it's pulled the right one. As an example, for a list I pulled from ChatGPT for a recent client report that we had, there were several different trends. And for each trend, I asked for it to pull three trade reporters and one top tier reach reporter. For each of those sections of four reporters, three out of four of them were spot on, absolutely correct. The fourth ones, one of them, it was someone who had recently left. Another one, it just wasn't quite the right person at that outlet. They covered that industry, but not that specific topic I was trying to pitch, but it got me there so much quicker because then I was already plugged into Muckrack, into that outlet, 
quickly found the right contact that wasn't that person and swapped them out in the list. And it was unbelievable. I'll get into this in a little bit, but then I used AI to help me create a targeted pitch unique for each of those journalists because I've said this before on podcasts, but how often do we say we're going to create targeted pitches? And we know that they have to be really specific and tailored. But when it comes down to it, working in the association world, we have no time. The extent of our tailoring is, hello, first name, and then our pitch. This can get you beyond that and not break the bank when it comes to your time. So this is an area I, I think AI can really shine in terms of making each pitch feel personal and tailored. And here are five prompts that you can use with ChatGPT to truly craft a compelling pitch if you're crafting it from scratch. So for the subject line, ask it, help me with a great subject line for a pitch about insert topic that will capture the attention of insert your specific type of journalist there. Pitch refinement. Don't just stop when you get that first pitch and say, oh, this isn't great. I'm just going to do it on my own. Ask it, can you provide recommendations to improve this pitch for top tier reporters, ensuring it's compelling and concise and include your draft pitch? Or maybe it's for trade reporters that know this issue inside and out. You put in the parameters, but understand that you don't have to just take what it gives you and either be disappointed or say, okay, I'll use this. You can go back and forth with it until you get what you want. When it comes to that personalization, ask it, how can I customize this pitch to better resonate with insert journalist name based on their recent work on insert related topic? My suggestion here is put in a couple of recent articles and ask it for a very specific pitch for that journalist. I have been amazed at the results here and how quickly it can create short couple sentences that not only bring your issue to the top, but hit on something they've done recently or make it really personal to them. So that's where I would focus your effort on is that personalization piece of things because that's where it, it can really pay off. Impact emphasis is another thing you can look to ChatGPT for. So ask it, suggest ways to emphasize the impact on insert your specific audience in this pitch. This is so important because when we're thinking about pitching, we always say that best practice is to tell the reporter why it matters for their audience, whether it's their readers or their viewers. So ask for some help there. Make sure you're putting your best foot forward when it comes to that impact and think of through different ways that you can improve that. And then finally, your follow-up strategy. You can ask ChatGPT, what follow-up strategy should I use for this pitch to maximize the chances of getting a response? Like I mentioned, I've had a lot of success with this. I've done it with podcasts. I've done it with trade outlets, with top tier outlets. And I've just been blown away at the ability to get a personalized pitch so quickly. And I can do them in batches. So I'll say, here's my pitch. Here are five reporters. Here are specifics on those reporters and recent articles from them. Tweak this into five different versions based on each of these reporters. And wow, the results are amazing because that would take me hours and hours and hours. And no one's got time for that. But we're also really finding that reporters don't have time for anything anymore either. So if you're not sending them a personalized pitch, you're not getting through. Next, I want to walk you through a couple of examples where we leveraged AI to improve our pitches here at ONU. And so we use AI in this case as our second step. So different ONU teammates created these draft pitches that I then took with AI to improve them and both landed great coverage opportunities for us. So first is a pitch that we have for one of our association clients in the logistics space. And it was about the, the impact of a potential Canada border strike. And the original pitch was fine, but it wasn't really compelling enough. So I'm going to read this pitch to you. Our subject line was Canada border strikes impact the supply chains and consumers. And we had our high first name <laughs> and it said, as labor negotiations between Canada's border agents and the government reach a critical point, the potential for supply chain delays and disruptions looms large. With a significant number of border agents poised to strike, the impact on logistics and freight movement between the U.S. and Canada could be substantial leading to lengthy delays and operational challenges. Heather Devine, Chief Legal Officer of Traffics and a member of the Transportation Intermediaries Association, is available to provide expert insights on how this strike could disrupt logistics and the broader implications for supply chains and consumers. Based in Ontario, Traffics is a leading third-party logistics provider in North America 
and has been navigating the complexities of cross-border freight movement since 1979. Heather can offer a unique perspective on the anticipated challenges and potential solutions to mitigate these disruptions. Would you be interested in a conversation with Heather? It's not an awful pitch, but that took me a while to get through and it was a little convoluted. And again, it just didn't have that compelling, oh, I've got to cover this to it. We brought it to ChatGPT and used these prompts. First, we asked it, help me with a great subject line and any recommendations to improve this pitch for top tier reporters about potential impacts of supply chain on a Canada border strike. Top tier reporters have little time and need to see a really compelling pitch to want to cover. Impact on consumers is a really important emphasis here. And I, then I shared the draft pitch. It came back with another example. I said, love this and I love the subject line, but I need ideas to make it shorter. So again, it took a couple iterations, but the final updated pitch I got to was so much stronger. Our subject line, urgent, looming Canada border strike, potential delays and surge in consumer prices. The pitch was much more direct and concise. We said, as Canada's border agents near a potential strike, crucial label negotiations threaten significant disruptions in U.S.-Canada trade relations. These disruptions could ripple through the supply chain, leading to visible impacts on consumer goods, availability, and pricing. That lead paragraph right there, that was so much more compelling. It stated the impact. It created a conflict. It right off the bat pulled reporters in and told them why it mattered. And then we really tightened up that second piece of it where we talked about our spokesperson. So Heather Devine, Chief Legal Officer of Traffics, a leading 3PL provider in North America and a member of TIA is available to provide expert insights on the immediate challenges and broader consumer impacts if border agents walk out. With decades of experience in North American logistics, Heather's analysis from Ontario provides essential context on how these disruptions could affect everything from supermarket shelves to online retail delivery times in both countries. Are you interested in talking to Heather? This led to immediate responses, including a request from one of our key targets, which was CBC Montreal. So that was a really great example and one we're proud of and, and one we were working to emulate in our pitches going forward because it really delivered on what we were looking for and made the pitch review process so much quicker. It took me way longer to talk through that than it actually took to edit the pitch and get pitches out. So that right there should tell you all you need to know in terms of that efficiency and effectiveness of this. The second example I'll give you, and the last one, so I don't make you sit through pitch after pitch reading here, is one we did for one of our association clients in the therapy space, and it focused on PTSD Awareness Month. Our initial pitch was honestly a little bit vague and, and not very compelling, and that's okay because this was a first draft, but the subject line, the hidden impact of PTSD. As a reporter, maybe they'll open that, maybe they won't. It was, it was short and to the point, but what's the what there? So the pitch started out with, hello, first name. June is PTSD Awareness Month, a critical time to shed light on the profound and often overlooked impact of post-traumatic stress disorder on individuals and their families. PTSD affects millions of people, yet its ripple effects on family dynamics and relationships are rarely discussed. It's important to note that PTSD is not limited to war veterans. It can result from various traumatic experiences, including accidents, natural disasters, abuse, and more. Octavia Neal is a licensed marriage and family therapist, member of AMFT, and a leading expert in trauma and PTSD. She's available to provide insights on this important topic, such as understanding how PTSD created daily challenges for individuals, the effects it has on all relationships, and the importance of awareness. With over 15 years of experience, she can offer a unique perspective and the emotional and psychological toll PTSD takes. Would you be interested in speaking with Octavia for a story on PTSD and its wider impacts? So we took that pitch and we refined it with these prompts. First, how can we make the lead paragraph to our PTSD pitch really compelling for top tier broadcast news? That's where we wanted to go. We had specific markets we were really targeting in, in different regions. And then we said, okay, take the second paragraph and make people want to interview Octavia. The important piece for us is to keep in that Octavia is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a member of AMFT. If you don't highlight things that you want to keep in there, it might cut them. So if something's really important to you, tell it in the prompt. And the last prompt was, what subject lines would you use to capture broadcast attention for this pitch? I want to keep it under five words. So again, really specific. The final version was so much more compelling 
It had a really strong subject line. It just said PTSD beyond the battlefield. The lead was impactful and the pitch was concise yet informative. It read, June marks PTSD Awareness Month, casting a spotlight on a condition that disrupts millions of lives yet remains shrouded in silence. Beyond the known battles of war veterans, PTSD reaches into the quiet corners of everyday life, following accidents, natural disasters, and personal traumas. During this month, we confront the untold stories, how PTSD shapes and sometimes shatters family dynamics and personal relationships, revealing a hidden epidemic that transcends individual experiences to affect whole communities. Octavia Neal, a licensed marriage and family therapist and member of AMFT, brings over 15 years of expertise in trauma and PTSD. With her deep understanding of the intricate ways PTSD impacts daily life and relationships, she offers insights into the emotional and psychological toll of this disorder. She can shed light on often misunderstood aspects of PTSD, providing clarity and guidance on navigating its challenges. She's available to share her unique perspective and expert advice, helping to deepen public understanding and foster greater awareness during PTSD Awareness Month. Would you be interested in speaking with Octavia for a story on PTSD and its wider impacts? This made a difference, and it resulted in an interview that aired in our top target market, which was really excited with ABC and Fresno. And these examples, again, show how AI can significantly enhance your pitching efforts by making your messages more targeted and more compelling. It's all about using AI as a tool to refine and perfect your communication, ensuring you really hit the right note with each pitch. And again, I'll emphasize that it took me significantly longer to read these pitches to you and talk through them than it took me to edit them. It it was three minutes and we got to our version that we wanted, which is just incredible. The time saving there rather than me sitting and thinking and going back and forth three or four times in emails with my colleagues to get it to just the right place. A couple prompts and, a, and forcing ChatGPT to push and, and give me more examples. And I got right there. I think one of the things to think about is talk to it like you're talking to another colleague or employee. It, 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 it can be hard to think that way, but that's how you're going to get the answers you need. And you can even use the voice feature if that's easier for you rather than typing in your prompts turn on that microphone and and just talk to it and and see where it takes you. I I could go on and on with different pitch samples, but time after time, we've seen that using ChatGPT to edit pitches has immediately resulted in getting responses from reporters. We'll have more details up soon, but we're actually going to start offering how to use AI to improve your pitches workshop that can hopefully help you guys make this so much easier and really streamline your, your efforts here. Before we wrap up, I want to touch once again, like I did last week, on some best practices when using AI tools like ChatGPT. Always, always, always be mindful of privacy and data security. Remember, anything you put into ChatGPT can become public data. I use the paid version. It says it can't, but you just don't know. I I just, I'm so hesitant with that and always come at it from a cautious standpoint of if I'm dealing with sensitive information, I'm going to be extra, extra cautious. I'm going to consider using placeholder names or placeholder industries to protect the data. I'm never going to put in something that is not already public for our clients. I'm always going to be transparent with clients about what we're using. Just always think about that and and be smart with what you're doing uh, so that you don't end up in a horror story and instead can share a success story. So... I'll, I'll just leave you with that. Next week, we'll continue this series. We're going to dive just a little bit deeper into leveraging AI and your PR efforts. So be sure to tune in for that one and, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. As always, our goal at ONU and the A100, we're here to help you become the go-to source for your industry or profession. And if there are ways to leverage AI to enhance your PR strategies, we want to help you figure that out and make your efforts more efficient and more effective. So thanks for tuning in once again to the A100 podcast and sticking with me for another solo cast. If you've got any questions at all or want a copy of our new AI ebook, please shoot me an email at cgallagher at onwardupward.com and I'll send that your way. So stay tuned for our next solo cast coming out next Wednesday. And until then, keep pushing forward and embracing the power of AI in your PR efforts. And that's a wrap on today's episode. Thanks for listening to the Association 100 podcast brought to you by the A100 publishing team powered by Onward and Upward Marketing and Communications. 
You can subscribe to the Association 100 podcast on Spotify so you'll never miss out. Or listen via our website at theassociation100.com. Follow us for all the latest insights and trends impacting the world of associations. Thanks for tuning in.